Hello guys, in the last video I have shown you how to deal with queries in your Microsoft Access database and I have shown you how you can create a query in which uh, you can calculate uh, the bonus of these employee on the basis of this pay. So uh, now in this video what I am going to do is I am going to show you how you can create a report uh, on the basis of this query or general uh, report how you can create general reports so what I'm going to do is this query which I have created in the last video in which I have uh, calculated uh, the pay on the basis of not the pay but I have calculated the bonus on the basis of this pay where my pay uh, my bonus is equal to the pay multiplied by 50 what I'm going to do is I'm selecting this query I'm going to go to this um, window button save save as object and I will say employee data bonus query bonus query and I will save it okay so now I have this uh, employee data I spelled it wrong donors query but it's okay so I have this query and I want to generate a report on the basis of this query. So what I can do is I can select this query from here and I can go to create and I can go to this report wizard here. So just click this report wizard and here I can choose or which query or which uh, table I want to have in my report so either I can choose this so it will select the whole table or I can choose this query which I have created or I have saved right now which is employee data bonus query and the fields I can choose all the fields from here in this um, selected field and I can click next and this is uh, the order in which it will show I will select next and if I want to arrange uh, my data on the basis of some uh, field or column, I can choose it. For example, on the basis of employee ID, I want to show my data in ascending order. Okay. Next, this shows the layout. You can select the layout in which you want to show your data. By default, it's uh, tabular, and I will leave it as default. And I will click next. And here you can choose your designs or style in which you want to show your data. So I will choose one of the styles and I will select next. And here you can modify your report title. For example, I can say employee. bonus report okay so this will be the title of your report and I will say modify the report design so I want to modify the report design so I will click this and I will click finish here so now I have this employee bonus report here and when I go to this print preview of this employee bonus report I can see this how my report will look like here so you can see here this date of birth and uh, this pay I cannot see because uh, the space of for these this is a little bit small so let's adjust this first so I will go here once again go to the design view and what I'm going to do is I can adjust the width. I can choose this here and I will just make it smaller a little bit and last name also a little, little bit smaller. Just select one cell at a time. Okay. And I want to make uh, this date of birth a little bit bigger. Select only one. Make it a bigger and the 
bonus I will also make it bigger and pay also I will make it bigger okay let's see how it looks in print preview and now it looks it looks fine okay so this is the report now suppose I want to calculate the sum of bonus so total of bonus and I want to show it in here how can I do it I'll go to the design once again right click and go to design and what I can do is so I have the report footer here page footer which is this one right so what I can do is I can just shift these things these things a little bit down like this and what I can do is I can so just note that I am taking this in the footer page footer so what I will do is I will uh, drag and drop a text box so just select the text box and just go to your page and create a rectangle here and just leave it as so it will create a text box and once again just note that I am in the page footer okay and for example I want to get the total of the bonus right so what I can do is I can give here the formula uh, in the same way you can give the formula in your excel sheets so equal to sum and in the bracket you can give the name of the column you want the sum of so I want uh, the bonus sum so I will write bonus sum but in access you write uh, the column name inside a square bracket so just give a square bracket and just write the name bonus like this okay so let me show you this expression once again in a little bit bigger font so it's just like this is equal to sum bracket and in the square bracket your column name okay and then what I can do is I can change the text of this uh, text box as uh, total bonus right and then I can go to the print preview and now you see here it's showing error let's see what is the error so I will go to the design view so why this error is coming here is because we have included uh, this text box in our page footer so I have already told you just notice where I am placing my uh, my text boxes so now for example when you just select your text box and put this these text boxes in report footer there is a thing called page footer and there is a thing called report footer and when you put your text box in report footer let's see what happens now you can see the sum here okay so now it will not show you the error once again in the design view I can uh, change this title once again so this title is bonus and let's change the property of uh, this this uh, text box also so that it can show uh, this sum as euros it's already showing I think but if it doesn't show and you want to change and format your text box what you can do is you can just click in your text box go to format and search for the format field here and just change this uh, format type to euro in my case but you can choose anything okay so that's why it's showing this in euros right I can change the font size of this or I can just change uh, this report 
color so that we can see it also I can change this uh, color as well from here like this and I can change the report color by going to the properties no fill and I can change this color like this or let's see what color I can choose okay like this and in the preview now I can see this color here so the point is you can uh, take the sum of the uh, of your rows and uh, many other things you can do for example when you go to the layout view here and select this pay for example when you select this pay you can see here a tab called or a ribbon called total and in here you can take the average of the pay count record count values maximum minimum standard deviation or variance you can do many things here for example i want to show the average of the pay i can just click this button and now you can see you are seeing the average of the pay which is 34 so let's uh, just adjust this bonus here and now you can also see the average of the bone or average of the pay also so this is also a uh, very good uh, technique to get anything some averages and other things right now once again to the design view you can add uh, other things like logo to your uh, report or you can align this in the middle and you can add charts and other things as you can add in the forms uh, these things so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now